Hey guys, Ricky Adamas here for another video. I'm gonna show you how to blow the fuse on your multimeter. So I have a Fluke 87.5 here and this is my favorite because if you drop it from really high heights, it's been known to survive. Uh, there's other multimeters out there so you don't have to use this one, but I'm just gonna show you an example of how to blow your fuse. So this is how you test your voltage. So right here, you would have it in the voltage. You'd have the red in the voltage spot and in the black in the common, uh, COM. And to test your voltage, you would have it set to the V right here. And you test your voltage by putting the red over here on the right under the plus and the negative over here on the left. And so it says the voltage is 11.16. So that's way below the 12.2 uh, range that you want your battery to start at. So 12.2 is a dead battery. Anything below 12.2 is really dead battery. So the way that you would blow it is, let's say you're testing your voltage and you're going back and forth between voltage and amperage. Um, the way that you would blow the fuse, internal fuse on the voltmeter is if you put it in amps, if you put it in amps, and let's say we turn this to the amp setting over here, right? And then let's say I was to, cause right now it's under AC on the top right. Uh, you can see it says AC up here. And if I were to touch these two probes, this one on there on the right and the negative on the left, I would blow the fuse because the way that the voltmeter works, uh, well, the way that the multimeter works under the amp setting is a current travels through here uh, or that's the conventional theory is uh, the, the electrons are come from the plus side, but that's not really what happens. Um, in the real, the real world, electrons travel here through the negative and then through the voltmeter and then back to the battery in the plus side through this probe. So the fuse inside would melt because too much current would try to go through at one time uh, blowing the fuse. Or maybe if you have a really, really cheap am amateur is what they call it, that measures amperage uh, from China, it would probably just blow the whole thing. But since this is a real expensive device, they're smart enough to put a $10 fuse in there. So if you don't wanna replace the $10 fuse, don't set it to amperage and then touch these two probes to there. Very easy to do if you were just earlier measuring the voltage. So let's say you wanted to test the Let's say you wanted to test to see if the fuse is good for your amps because this one has two fuses in it. So to test, uh, to see if the internal fuse for the amps is good, you would turn it to ohms and then under the ohm setting, you would put the red lead in here and see that beeping sound means it's good. If the fuse is blown, it wouldn't beep. Now, let's say you want to test the milliamps or microamps setting and then you would have the black in the common like it is now and then you would connect this under the ohm setting you would go to the ohm setting on your multimeter and then you would connect this under milliamps or microamps and if you hear that beeping sound then that means that the fuse is good so both of my fuses are good when i got this one from the pawn shop i could tell that one of the fuses was blown I think it was the amps one because that's the most commonly one that's used. That's the one that's most commonly used. So I know that it's good. But if I were to turn it to amps and then I would put these on here, I would blow the fuse. So don't do that. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.